Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Valerie, and this is The Hargett Life. Today's video is part of a collab, and it's hosted by Fallon over at Moss Family TV. It's her Fall Food Friday open collab. I'll have Fallon's channel, as well as a playlist, linked in my description box below. So as soon as you get done watching this video, be sure to go check out all the other fall recipes. I have two recipes to share with y'all today. Easy crock pot hamburger steaks and pumpkin cream cheese brownies. Now let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this going in the crock pot here. For this recipe, you'll need a two pound box of frozen hamburgers. I got these from Walmart. There are six patties in here. You'll also need some garlic powder, a packet of brown gravy, some water, a can of cream of mushroom soup. The recipe calls for one can, but I always use two cans. And I have some diced onion here that I had diced up and frozen. This is one of those recipes you need to make when you just want to dump and go and set it and forget it. I'm gonna spray the bottom of my crock pot with some nonstick spray here. Or you could use a crock pot liner. I'm gonna dump in my frozen diced onions. I'm gonna lay my hamburger patties in here. And these are one third pound patties. I'm going to dump in my cream of mushroom soup mix. And if you wanted, you could put your condensed soup and your gravy mix in a separate small bowl and mix it up that way and then pour it over the top of this. But I am taking the easy way out. I'm gonna sprinkle over my brown gravy. I'm gonna use a little garlic powder. You could also use onion powder. I'm gonna add a little pepper in here. Pour over the water. Put the lid on. And this cooks on low for five to seven hours. I usually do seven hours, or you can cook it on high for two to four hours. I have some errands to run now, and when I come back, I'll get started on the pumpkin cream cheese brownies. Okay, it's time to make these pumpkin cream cheese brownies. And I've seen my friend Tiffany over at Our Small Town Life. I will link her channel in my description box below. I've seen her make these and they looked so good. So I know my daughter's gonna love them. For this recipe, you will need any kind of box brownie mix along with the ingredients you need on the back of the box. You'll also need chocolate chips. And for the pumpkin filling, you'll need pumpkin puree, 
a little powdered sugar, cream cheese. Uh, it calls for pumpkin pie spice, but I am out. So I'm just gonna use cinnamon and I'm gonna add an egg to the filling. I am completely out of vegetable oil, so I just melted a stick of butter. I'm gonna add in my browning mix. Now three eggs. Now I'm gonna make the filling. I'm gonna add in a block of cream cheese, an egg, and make sure your cream cheese is softened. Come to room temp. I'm gonna add in a half a cup of powdered sugar and half of a 15 ounce can of pure pumpkin puree. And it calls for a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, but I don't have pumpkin pie spice. I'm just gonna do about a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna mix this up. My cream cheese was not completely at room temp. So it's a tiny bit chunky, but it's still gonna taste good. I'm going to get my baking pan here. I have sprayed it and lined it with parchment paper. I'm gonna put half of my brownie mixture in and then put my cream cheese mixture on top of that and then the other half of my brownie mixture and I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Not the prettiest thing, but it'll still taste good. Oh, I forgot the chocolate chips. It's okay, it's not too late. I'm gonna sprinkle some chocolate chips on the top of here. And I'm doing about a third of a cup maybe. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and it says to bake these for 30 minutes, but I'm gonna check them in about 25 minutes. I'll let you know how long they took when they're done. Okay, we're gonna see what these hamburger steaks are looking like. And I have not stirred it at all. So before I stir it, I'm going to ladle out some of this grease here. I'm 
going to stir everything around in here. I'm going to let this cook for about 30 more minutes and I'm going to check on my brownies. These hamburger steaks are done, but I want to thicken up the gravy a little bit. So I'm going to take out the hamburgers. I made a little slurry with cornstarch and water. I'm going to pour this in. and turn it up on high for about five minutes. Let me stir it first. And when this thickens up, I'll just add my hamburger steaks back in here and it'll be ready to be served. My husband went into work super early this morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and make his plate so he can go ahead and eat. I made some rice I baked in the oven, and I made some sweet peas to go along with it. So I'll show you what his plate looks like when I'm done. Good stuff. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much, Fallon, for hosting. Be sure to check out the playlist below for more fall recipes. But before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.